What's going on, everybody? RJ Ochoa here from SB Nation's blog and theboys.com. Hope all is well wherever you are. We hope you're happy, safe, healthy, and that, like me, you enjoyed the season premiere of Survivor. I don't know what season it is off the top of my head, and actually, I'm lying to you. I haven't even watched the season premiere yet. I'm putting this video together for you on Wednesday, February 28th. Uh, I'm set to watch the premiere this evening for me with my wife, but of course, uh, in the past for you because this video will be going out on Thursday morning. Um, I said in the last video, the magic of the internet, that's the magic of scheduling. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing here to the Blog and the Boys YouTube channel. We are on the way to 22,000 subscribers, but we are also on the way to passing our friends at Arrowhead Pride, SB Nation's home for Kansas City Chiefs content. Here are the rules. They get the Super Bowls. We get to be the SB Nation YouTube channel with the most subscribers. And once we pass Arrowhead Pride, we will officially hold that title. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Please like the video. Please tell a friend. Those things help us out. If you want to hit me up on social media, you can obviously see the ways to do so down below. You can also leave a comment down below, and I will do my best to get to that. Uh, recently, we discussed um, the kind of weird um, situation as far as mock drafts and what they're saying about Terrence Steele and how the Cowboys could have a need at right tackle. We're not here to talk about that. What we're here to talk about is everybody's favorite subject, and that is Dak Prescott and the looming contract extension and how it's just going to upset the internet and how everybody's going to be all sorts of pissed off. Well, we don't have to speculate anymore because somebody else did the speculating for us. Spotrack, uh, which is a fantastic resource uh, for really all sports, but certainly for the NFL, um, they do a great job of keeping track of salary information, salary cap space, salary cap information, uh, very similar to over the cap. Obviously, they're both wonderful resources to use, obviously, as it relates to tracking the financial side of the NFL. The financial side is in team finance. It's not how the Dallas Cowboys are the most valuable professional sports franchise in the world. But they put together a Dak Prescott extension prediction. This is the world we live in where we can have this kind of thing. And let's go ahead and get to it. They have Dak Prescott hitting $60 million per year. Um, it is billed as, no pun intended, a three-year, $180 million extension for Dak Prescott. But if you look at this, there is a, a, a void year here in 2028, obviously. So that's kind of what's going on here. You've got this entire thing running, obviously, through 2027. You can see your $119 million guaranteed at signing, signing bonus, plus 2024 salary. Remember, he is in a contract or on a contract for 2024. So this is an extension. The new years here are 25, 26, and 27 with that void year in 2028. So technically a fourth year, but really a three-year deal because it is voided. That void year exists as a dummy year to put uh, salary cap, obviously, space if the Cowboys are going to kick the can down the road. What I mean by that is if this extension, this hypothetical one, were to come to pass next year in 2025, I'll highlight this for you here, Dak's cap hit, whoops, it won't let me do that. Uh, Dak's cap hit is $83.2 million. That's just, I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> it's, really, it's a crazy cap hit. That's actually twice what it is this year in this particular hypothetical. Uh, the Cowboys would restructure him next year, obviously, and spread that out, and they would put a lot on that dummy year in 2028 to have it match so it wouldn't be overwhelming for them and they would do that obviously to pick up cap space to sign whoever it was to you know hand out slices of the pie whatever the case may be but 119 million dollars guaranteed at signing signing bonus plus 2024 salary 25 and a 2025 roster bonus um full no trade clause no tag clause and contract expiration 2028 automatically voids here is their summation of it they obviously predicted other people too and that's why you see two of Lowe's name there the cowboys have a few options with Dak Prescott, but the most likely, let's highlight that for you, the most likely outcome is an extension for the 31-year-old this offseason. We haven't been shy talking about themselves. We spoke right here with this one, making Prescott the first $60 million per year player in terms of new money average in total. We've projected a four-year, $214 million contract with $169 million guaranteed for practical purposes and $119 million of it fully guaranteed at signing. Remember, that fourth year is a dummy year, so kind of a three-year extension, ultimately. Prescott secures a historic $75 million signing bonus and his cap figure for 2024 lowers from $59.4 million to $41.6 million dollars so the Cowboys save approximately 18 million dollars in salary cap space you look at that we've been talking a lot here as of late about how Dak Prescott's cap hit as it stands in this moment in time for this season is almost 60 million dollars that's six zero it's 59.4 as they mentioned here the 
negotiation here than the negotiation. I guess there's a hypothetical negotiation, but the extension here lowers that. Obviously, that's what an extension is and allows the Cowboys to save that money and use it seemingly on somebody else to improve their roster. Uh, I think I speak for the Internet in noting that if this were to happen, people would be upset. <laughs> uh, now, I don't think that this is a, a bad idea. I don't think this is a, a bad extension. I think this is fair, and I think this is probably pretty on par with what we could expect if the Cowboys do negotiate and ultimately land an extension with their star quarterback. Um, it's only a three-year deal, the fourth dummy years we've talked about. That keeps Dak under contract with the Dallas Cowboys up to his mid-30s, effectively, obviously, um, and and still prime, still very much prime, still peak prime years in terms of operation for a quarterback in the NFL. And so this is very much worth doing. I know it looks like a monster number. I know it feels heavy. I know it feels dramatic. It's not our money. Uh, but beyond the fact that it's not our money, it is – the way things go. And I, I don't know how many times to have this conversation over and over and over and over again. The price only goes up. It only goes up. It only goes up if you are in this exclusive club and Dak Prescott happens to be. And he won. This all started, and we're not here to rehash history, but this all started with how the Cowboys played this in 2019, the sins of five years ago, now costing the Cowboys in both a literal and a metaphorical sense here. And as we get closer and closer and closer and closer to the new league year, which is actually now under two weeks away, the new league year begins on March 13th, although legal tampering begins on March 11th. So as we get closer and closer and closer, all the leverage that we're talking about that Dak Prescott has, it just becomes louder and it becomes more monstrous and it becomes more intimidating. The Cowboys are running out of time. I mentioned Survivor. There was a horrible twist a few seasons ago with an hourglass, and I mention hourglasses all the time, but where sand was trickling down, the Cowboys are just watching the grains of sand trickle down and they're doing nothing about it in, in terms of actual action. Perhaps they are working on an extension. Obviously, Stephen Jones said this week at the NFL combat that he wasn't going to get into specifics about that in a public setting, but this is going to be a massive deal when it gets done. And I think this projection, this prediction is pretty fair in, in terms of what it's going to cost to keep a quarterback around in today's day and age. You have to make your peace with that. It helps the Cowboys out in the here and now and that it establishes some much needed salary cap space. It keeps Dak Prescott in tow. It keeps the Cowboys competitive. And as it keeps Dak Prescott around for at least three seasons beyond this current one, it establishes that he is a part of the future of the team, obviously, whether or not that does include Mike McCarthy. That gives him three years, a thousand days with a new head coach. Once again, a new offensive play caller. Again, hypothetically, if the team does decide to move on from Mike McCarthy. And so I think these numbers are fair. I think that they're probable. I think that there's a very strong likelihood that whatever extension Dak Prescott does perhaps inevitably sign will look and feel a lot like this one. Spotrack is one of the very, very best outlets in the game when it comes to stuff like this. So you have now seen the numbers and you better prepare yourself. I did write about this, by the way, at blogontheboys.com, so you can check that out. You can also subscribe here to the Blog on the Boys YouTube channel if you want the latest and greatest in the world of the Dallas Cowboys. We are on the way to passing Arrowhead Pride. We want to do that. Uh, so if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Uh, please consider liking the video. I know that we ask for those things all the time. It's because they really do help. Um, tell a friend. Tell 10 friends. Tell 100 friends. I'm not going to stop you from doing any of that. So um, if you do, we will uh, feel very, very happy in our hearts, and we will appreciate it very, very, very much. Um, this could happen at any moment. In fact, I've gotten some alerts while I've been recording this video. Let me make sure here. Um, no, nothing. I mean, this video is going to go out. I said I was recording it on Wednesday evening. It's going to go out Thursday morning, and this could change at any moment in time. We're kind of on watch for this. And so uh, will it happen sometime soon? I don't know. Will it happen at the 11th hour? Probably, because that's the way the Cowboys generally like to do business. <laughs> uh, so my name is RJ Ochoa. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or threads at RJ Ochoa. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok at RJ.Ochoa. Uh, like I said, you can leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to get to those. If you want to send me an email, you can do so. RJ.Ochoa at SBNation.com. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope you watch something incredible on television, whether or not it is Survivor. I hope it's Survivor. But whatever it is, I hope that you enjoy it. And whoever you're watching with, I hope you enjoy the company. Uh, thanks so much for watching this. And I uh, appreciate it, guys. We'll see you next time.